Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring some battles using uh, Toxicrote, a uh, double ghost team. Team's pretty interesting in Remix. I do think it has some flaws but it worked really well uh, for this uh, particular trainer. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the battles. Before we get into the battles, I uh, just wanted to make a really quick announcement. I have been sponsored by G Fuel. So this video and subsequent videos uh, will be sponsored by G Fuel. I appreciate everyone's support. I really enjoy G Fuel products, so hopefully uh, you will as well and save a few dollars. I know uh, oftentimes I get comments on where uh, people, other uh, other content creators have shoutcasted battles. Um, oh, actually, talk to me. That's not very common here. Uh, they're way lower CP and they're desynced. Okay, now they're resynced here. Um, where um, where they'll say like, oh, I saw this on someone else. Listen, people people submit battles to many different content creators, right? That's that's just the way it is, right? And obviously, we record and showcast them at different times, right? Uh, oh man, they they must have snuck a counter in, um, but should be able to survive this, unlike in Great League and still get off the mud bomb but the opposing talk show should not be able to survive because there's a way lower cp but let's see okay they end up shielding here that's actually totally fine i would definitely come in yeah giratina here it's a little bit more ability to farm and oh okay yeah um this is pretty good here um yeah this is a pretty good situation I would personally shield this Earthquake here, but they're going to let it go and preserve the shield, which I think is totally fine too. This Earthquake does quite a bit of damage. I guess the only thing is like if they have a Dark in the back, um, then uh, perhaps Jelly uh, would be would be better. But let's see. Oh, they have Snorlax. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't know here. Um, obviously they're going to throw a bod uh, body slam here and, uh, ice beam is really helpful in this matchup, but you still end up losing the matchup. Um, unless you were having, if you had bubble, then I think it's like very close to zero. Uh, but this, the Snorlax here is like putting on a ton of pressure, um, uh, with the lick damage. Um, but maybe if you can get out one more ice beam, can potentially shadow claw it down. Okay. Oh, that actually opens up that opens up the huge win con here. Gonna let this go and look to farm down this um um uh, looks to farm down this uh toxic row. But definitely we'll have to shield here, which is fine. And then uh look to throw the dragon pulse at the Snorlax. I'm not entirely sure why the Snorlax switched out. I guess it was trying to catch a move. Uh this dragon pulse uh should do it does definitely does more damage than the ice beam from jellicent because of the stab uh and as well uh because of um uh yeah and also because that uh, giratina origin has a higher attack and then um okay that was the end of the set i i just put these battles they sent me a, a whole bunch of different battles in in different scenarios here so uh, they're not really sequential here uh, but they climbed a ton of points uh, with this team obviously the biggest weakness this team could encounter in my opinion uh would be uh, uh air slash mandibuzz and uh, like a snarl mandibuzz talk Show can handle uh, okay um because the oh my gosh they can they, what, 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 what the they just got hugely paid back uh but uh uh fortunately um uh gear team is actually still able to survive the payback here and we'll get much shut down um mm, probably just a rock slide still right uh it was too early for an earthquake um but let's see how they want to play this that'd be the biggest one like a charm lead is like kind of awkward oh pidgeot is very awkward for this team i think honestly i think bubbles better uh for this team because you want a, like a little bit more coverage when you're running like if you can with an abb team uh let's see if they brave bird very unlikely they feather dance so good no shield there um yeah generally you want like coverage so that's why i like the ice beam here i think it's really nice uh, but i think like bubble ice beam and um uh shadow ball is the way to go and then i do think the dragon pulse is nice uh 
just so you can like fight okay they actually do brave bird this time and that actually works out really well in their favor because they can just easily counter down gonna throw this mud bomb here um i don't think that's enough for the is that for the gfus okay what the health is that no it's not definitely not okay they did get an extra counter through um looks like they're gonna be able to survive just barely and get to the move okay that's extremely close there and uh someone commenting saying gg a very nice like two hp there yeah so i i think like uh coverage coverage is pretty important uh when you're running this type of team especially like mandibuzz is so so common um uh in the meta um and air slash mandibuzz would be able to effectively beat the entire team okay fish sharp here that's interesting okay uh here comes needle queen so it's pretty good um it doesn't really matter which ghost you go into both of them are pretty good here um against um against uh needle queen both single resist poison uh uh jab and then as well uh take neutral from earth power um giratina uh um Jelson definitely tankier than um than uh than giratina all right uh, let's see if they decide to shield this they do they're going double shield here interesting okay um this fish sharp is gonna get absolutely deleted here you don't need to shield anything here this might be an iron head based off of when they threw yeah that's fine gonna be able to farm down here and hmm Okay, gonna throw the mud bomb here was anticipating um was anticipating the, uh, the um needle queen obviously to come through and this sludge bomb is gonna put them into the red uh they definitely will be able to survive um doesn't need to shield this pup here and honestly because that counter went through probably just one more counter to ko oh they switch out into uh needle queen here Okay, it looks like they're going for the two shield flex, I guess. They do go for the earth power here. And th this is this game over here, right? This is definitely um, a poison jab. Uh, or there's another earth power, actually. Well, okay, okay, this actually... Oh, man, this is actually getting very close here. Uh, probably should have shielded that. Uh, oh, man, oh, man, okay. That's two, though. Uh, three, yeah, okay, yeah. They're, they're good here. Uh, probably should have shielded uh, one of those. That was probably would have been the safest move, uh, but they were uh, totally fine in that situation. So very, very well played. We're going to have Toxic Road into GFIS. Uh, good lead. Um, I believe GFIS actually wins the zero. Okay, so here is what I'm talking about. Like Mandibuzz is honestly one of the worst Pokemon that they can deal with. Um, they do have outs here. Ideally, you catch... Uh, okay, that's actually pretty huge here. Ideally, you catch the Aerial Ace onto, um, uh, onto Jellicent, but now they might just try to farm down. Uh, well, I don't know if they try to farm down here. Um, okay. Okay, just going to double shield here and counter down. I like this play here. I would have preferred the catch, but this works too. Okay. They come into oh my gosh, they came into their own docks row, and, uh, and <laughs> okay, I probably should switch to be honest. I don't, I'm not entirely sure why why they stayed because both their Pokemon are are okay against it. Okay, gonna go Jelly into I I, I, don't, I don't quite understand that. Um, I think it would have been better just switch right away after they threw the Sludge Bomb, grab the Shield, don't let the Toxic Row farm because uh, there's really no reason to um because you have two pokemon, you have two ghosts in the back there uh and you're you know the third pokemon or like the the matchup is like slightly favorable if you can say that for um gfs against both pokemon um they go for the earthquake here uh doesn't ko but does put it pretty low here uh let's see what they want to do okay really needs to get out okay oh oh that's actually not great um but that's not great like, honestly you would rather take the uh mud shot there okay so you kind of need to leave 
with uh with a shadow ball here like okay they're gonna go for they need like a slight undercharge here oh okay that's oh god okay if this is a rock slide doesn't ko does not ko oh my gosh Oof. okay oh man is this gonna be enough though and uh it is it is just barely enough to ko the gfist very very close game there all right we're gonna have talk show into gfist again so good good lead here um but let's see they come into escav here uh, either one of these are okay again the ghost typing is what's really helpful here it allows you to double resist counter they're gonna take neutral to to the draw runs here and then they would resist the the mechorn so not really any benefit to have the water or dragon typing both of them pretty good um both of access shadow ball um definitely doesn't need to shield this should be able to easily live it they need uh seven more counters they might be able to counter down here but i don't think it's that big a deal if they shield this or not probably no shield and they're going to look to mud shot all the way down. Okay. That's okay. Uh, let's come back to Toxicroat. Okay. It's a Powder Snow Ninetales. So it actually worked out really favorably on where they went. Uh, honestly, they went and went uh, the other way. Then this would be pretty bad. This one actually has Psy Shock instead of the Dazzling Gleam. Which is usually favored um, in this meta. Just because it hits a lot harder. Okay um okay, no shield here definitely no shield here should be able to just clean up with talk crow at the end uh because they're gonna have to shield here if they want to protect the nine tails um but let's see yeah you definitely just don't shield here okay they come into um um back in gfist here but th this this game's a wrap right like um they can just uh, uh, double shield here and counter all the way down, and then have a sludge bomb ready or a mud bomb ready for um, for them. They so they go for it, which makes sense. It seems like their only potential win con here to shield this again, and uh, they win CMP versus Nine Tails. So this is this is this is game over here. Okay. Once they threw the earthquakes there, then. Uh, it was it was it was basically over now that they, uh, they obviously had a pretty bad lead and pretty bad counter switch all right let's go into this next game here all right okay talk straight into gfiz again again they did climb a lot of points but obviously gfiz is super common here oh they did switch to bubble this time okay that makes sense it honestly makes way more sense to have bubble unless they had bubble the whole time i don't think so they're pretty sure they had hex um Makes way more sense if you're gonna run a double ghost line to try to like uh, have a wider spread of coverage for your moose. Also does uh, better against like the Mandibuzz and Umbreon matchup. Not that those are winning matchups anyways. Oh, they go for the bait here. It's fine. Okay, they let it go. Here comes Scrafty, okay. Don't they have Jeefus? Ooh, very nice catch by them. Honestly, I would just go... Uh, honestly, you could stay here, right? Or just go into Giratina. Makes sense. Just no shield here. Okay. Uh, they're definitely not going to shield on their side. So they're going to want to put this uh, Giratina low. Low enough that they uh, they can farm it with Scrafty. Uh, but not low enough that it can do damage to Scrafty. So it's going to be a delicate balance for them. But I think you just try to... Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, hopefully, this is a rock slide. It is. Should be able to farm down here. Or it's very close here. Yeah, going to be able to Dragon Pulse. Uh, this Dragon Pulse is going to do great neutral damage um, to the Scrafty. Scrafty already has... Um, oh, okay. All right. Looks like they blind through there. Uh, that's fine. It's probably a pup. Oh, they foul played. Okay. And this should be... This game should be over. Okay, gonna shield once here. Um, not that they would need the shield because they would live it. 
Um, but doesn't really matter here. That's a GG. All right, we're gonna have Toxtro into S Cavalier. So this is okay. Obviously, oh my gosh, they I guess they decided it wasn't okay, and they come into Gyarados here. It's a very awkward matchup to be honest. Okay, they decide not to shield here in case they get the Crunch debuff, I guess. Uh, but honestly, uh, let's see what they want to do here. They no shield there. Um, they're gonna be able to outpace for sure. Okay, gonna let it go. I guess it doesn't really switch doesn't really matter here. Gonna actually look to counter down here. Oh, they come into Gengar. Interesting. They actually shield here, which is good. Hopefully, and this is a punch. I would okay. I would let it go personally, because I think you would live. And then I would just treat Toxtro as a sack. Because you already got the CMP tie. You would live the move. So, um, like, I'm not sure what. Uh, I guess they're looking to land this next Mud Bomb. Which is not a bad idea. Um, okay. Bank the move. Okay, get the extra Shadow Call in too. Let's see what they want to do. They draw a run here. Ideally, you don't want them to draw run again. Okay. And then... Gonna throw the draw, uh, the Shadow Ball here. And look to farm down. Very nice undercharge there. Um, this is looking pretty good here. This will put it pretty low though. Uh, and then obviously wants the Shadow Ball here. Or, okay, go for the Dragon Pulse. Okay. Um, Dragon Ball is a pretty bad move. So... Um, Okay, the mistake wasn't so costly there, but if they would have farmed down and got him got to a move, then it would have been really, really close there. So maybe unnecessary uh, farm there. All right, I think this will be the last battle that we'll show. Um, pretty interesting team composition. Bronze on this is actually pretty bad here. Want to throw one counter then switch? Okay, they're just gonna straight up switch here. Okay, here comes uh, Kingdra here. You definitely want to throw the Shadow Ball here. Both of them are neutral. Okay, they let it go. Um, okay, do they Octazuki or are they Rage? Ooh, they Octazuka. Oh, I saw the debuff too. That's bad. They would have definitely lived the Octazuka. Hmm. Okay, gonna throw the Shadow Ball here. Okay. Um, they're, def they're definitely going to throw, right? They're getting pretty low. Uh, they probably throw an Octazuka here. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Does that mean they... Oh, okay. They actually have to dump both uh, both moves here. That's really, really nice. And uh, going to take out the Jellison here. Okay, they come into Toshiro. Look to farm all the way down. Looking really good here. And they come into Bronzon, Bronzo, of course. And they have Machamp in the back. So it's actually very favorable here. And that's going to be a GG. Anyways, I'm going to leave there. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.